Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel dedicated to self-growth discovery. I'm thrilled to have you here as we explore topics like life, love, spirituality, and the law of attraction. Yesterday, we passed through the Lion's Gate portal on eight eighths, a powerful and transformative energy period. This is a time that's believed to bring significant shifts and open us up to new possibilities. So in today's video, I'm excited to dive into the changes and collective shifts that we might be experiencing as a result of this potent energetic gateway. I've already begun receiving some intuitive insights about this energy shift and will explore these further with some card readings to gain deeper clarity. The initial message that came through is all about spiritual confidence. It seems that this eight eighths portal is encouraging us to embrace and strengthen our sense of spiritual identity. What this means is that we're being guided to feel more assured and secure in our true selves, our spiritual essence. This period is likely to boost our confidence in our spiritual path and help us connect more deeply with our inner truth. As we navigate through these transformative energies, expect to feel a stronger alignment with who you really are on a soul level. Let's get into it and see what else comes up as we delve into these themes. When I refer to spiritual in this context, I'm talking about your most authentic self, the truest expression of who you are as a soul. This doesn't necessarily mean engaging in activities typically labeled as spiritual. Instead, it's about embracing the purest and most genuine version of yourself. Each person's authentic self looks different because we all have unique soul blueprints and frequencies that shape our individual expressions. As we delve into the concept of spiritual confidence, we'll explore how this energy is influencing us. Additionally, I've picked up on a concept I'm calling divine apathy. This feeling of apathy or detachment may arise as you become more aligned with your true self. You might find yourself suddenly uninterested or disconnected from people, situations, or energies that don't resonate with your authentic self. It's as if your soul is telling you, I'm fully committed to expressing and living as my true self. I don't have the energy or desire to invest in anything that doesn't harmonize with this authentic expression. This shift can help you prioritize what truly matters to you and let go of what no longer serves your highest purpose. I'm about to shuffle some cards from the Work Your Light Oracle deck. If you're hoping for a more personalized message from this reading, I encourage you to like the video and subscribe to the channel. These actions help me better tune into your energy, making it easier to provide specific insights for you, not just in this video, but in future ones as well. Every piece of content on this channel is a collaborative effort between us, so your support contributes to this co-creative process and enriches our community. If you find this content valuable, you can also support the channel by giving a super thanks. It really helps us continue to produce content and share insights. And don't forget to subscribe for regular updates and more readings. While shuffling, I noticed the number 444, which has been appearing quite frequently lately. This number often symbolizes guidance, support, and balance. It's associated with harmony, abundant opportunities, financial stability, and significant progress toward your goals. As I tune into this concept of progress, it seems you're entering a phase of greater clarity you're aligning your conscious goals and visions with the deeper frequency of your soul. This means you're starting to connect more deeply with your true purpose, what you feel you were meant to be and do. It's an exciting time as you synchronize your aspirations with your soul's true essence, setting the stage for meaningful growth and achievement. I'm picking up on the concept of pruning, similar to how you might trim back a garden or a plant. This idea suggests that there are certain aspects of your goals, visions, or desires that might need to be reassessed or even removed. If traditional goal setting isn't your style, 
that's perfectly fine. Just follow your own intuitive guidance. In this context, pruning means evaluating and possibly letting go of parts of your vision or ideas that are no longer in sync with your growth. Much like pruning a plant helps it flourish by removing the dead or excess parts, refining your goals and dreams can help you align better with your current path and personal development. The 8 eighths portal might be a time for this kind of reevaluation. You may be gaining new clarity about which aspects of your past aspirations or self are no longer relevant or beneficial. It's as if you're realizing that some of your old goals, dreams, or parts of your vision were more aligned with a previous version of yourself, and now they're not serving your current growth or expanded self. If you find that certain goals or dreams no longer excite you, or if you feel drained by them, it's a sign they might not be aligned with who you are now. This sense of low energy or lack of inspiration is a major indicator that it might be time to let go of these outdated elements. You might also experience what's known as cognitive dissonance. This occurs when there's a mismatch between your current self and the aspects of your life or goals that were relevant to an older version of you. This feeling of dissonance can highlight that what once resonated with you now feels out of place. The eight eighths Lion's Gate portal could be bringing this clarity to the forefront, helping you recognize these discrepancies and adjust accordingly. Allow yourself to go through this pruning process. It's a natural part of aligning with your most authentic and expanded self. By letting go of what no longer fits, you make space for new growth and more meaningful pursuits that resonate with who you are now and where you're headed. All right, let's finally pull a card. While we may have diverged a bit from a 3D perspective, from an energetic viewpoint, there's no real sidetracking. Everything has a purpose in the fifth dimension. It's clear that someone needed to hear these messages. Around the 8 eighths portal, there's been a surge of clarity, but the progress you're making toward your goals or desires is more likely unfolding at an energetic and emotional level rather than a physical one. This means you might not see or measure this progress in material terms. Instead, it's more about the internal shifts you're experiencing. You might feel a sudden burst of clarity or a sense of releasing past burdens, indicating that growth is happening within you. Interesting. I'm not sure how that connects for someone, but pruning those aspects of your vision mentally and emotionally that are no longer aligned with this most expanded version of you. And this might also be impacting who you are investing time into because I'm getting that part of this pruning energetically might be that there are certain people who have been in your life that you've been giving energy to in some way that you are now feeling apathetic towards because through this apathy, your soul is telling you that there is not a reciprocated energy flow between yourself and that person. Therefore, they might be draining some of your energy reserves that you could actually be utilizing and investing into creative endeavors, meaning endeavors that move you closer towards your own personal goals and dreams that are actually aligned with that core frequency of your soul. As we approach the 8 eighths portal, I'm increasingly drawn to lion imagery, which is fitting since we're in the midst of the lion's gate period. I'll be exploring and sharing more insights related to this lion symbolism soon. I keep encountering terms like lion travel and pride. To clarify, a group of lions is indeed called a pride. Lions within a pride support and protect each other from outsiders and threats. This social unit can consist of anywhere from two to 40 lions living together in a defined territory. The imagery of a lion pride emphasizes community, protection, and shared space, which might be relevant themes during this period. This imagery 
is really highlighting the concept of a soul tribe, akin to a lion pride, in the same way that a pride of lions provides mutual protection and defends against threats, your soul tribe offers a deep sense of support and shielding. This support network helps guard you from people who might drain your energy or those who don't resonate with your true self. The number range of two to 40 suggests the size of your soul tribe, indicating that you have a core group of individuals you deeply trust and feel a strong connection with. This could be a small circle of close friends or a slightly larger group, but it's a number that signifies meaningful and reciprocal relationships. While you can interact positively with people outside this circle, your soul tribe represents your closest allies and those who truly understand and support you. The term travel here can be understood as your journey with these individuals through different lifetimes as well as through time and space. This might even include literal travel with some of these people. Essentially, it captures the enduring and evolving nature of your connection with your soul tribe, highlighting a shared history and mutual support. During the Lion's Gate portal, there is a heightened focus on energetic protection. Seeing the number 333 reinforces the importance of safeguarding yourself from those who don't align with your soul tribe. It signifies a period where you need to be aware of people who might be drawn to your high vibrational energy, whether they are intentionally or unintentionally seeking to take advantage of it. The portal is prompting you to strengthen your boundaries and ensure that your interactions are with those who genuinely resonate with your core being, protecting your energy and maintaining harmony within your soul tribe. Don't be misled by the rapid pace at which others seem to be moving. It's important not to measure your progress by their speed because the true focus should be on how clearly your vision aligns with your deepest self. It's not about how quickly you reach your goals, but about having a vision that resonates with your core essence. When you create goals that truly reflect who you are at the deepest level, the speed of progress becomes irrelevant. You'll find that the journey itself is enjoyable and deeply fulfilling as each step taken in alignment with your authentic self brings a profound sense of satisfaction. If you're not currently experiencing this sense of alignment and fulfillment, it might be time to pause and reflect. Take a break to clarify what you want your life to look like, ensuring that your goals are truly in line with your soul's purpose. The key is to focus on defining a vision that resonates with your core self, rather than getting caught up in the speed at which you're moving toward that vision. The message is clear. When your vision is fully aligned with your soul, the steps you need to take will naturally present themselves. Each step along the way will feel meaningful and fulfilling. This sense of fulfillment is a sign that you are on the right path. Embrace this understanding and let it guide you as you navigate your journey, knowing that alignment with your true self brings the deepest satisfaction and clarity. Let's dive deeper into the guidance from this deck because it seems to be brimming with profound insights. I'm picking up the name Molly and seeing vivid images of yellow or blonde braids. The cards in front of us are Trust Your Path and Break the Chain, which highlight themes of ancestral healing and the powerful process of rewriting your future. As we move through this Lion's Gate portal, there's a significant message emerging. You are undergoing a profound journey of ancestral healing. It appears that you're carrying the weight of unresolved patterns and limiting beliefs from past generations. It's almost like these chains of unhealed issues have been passed down through the ages, and now it's your turn to break them. This is a key reason why your life might seem so different and unconventional compared to others. You may feel like you're progressing more slowly than those around you, or that you're not achieving the traditional milestones that society holds up as markers of success. What's truly happening 
is that you are breaking free from these inherited patterns, and this process is shaping your unique path. Your journey may not align with conventional timelines or expectations, but it's leading you towards a more authentic and liberated future. Trust that this is a significant part of your life's purpose and embrace the unique path you're forging as you heal and redefine what success means to you. You might sometimes find yourself questioning whether you're on the right path or if you're somehow doing life incorrectly. It's important to understand that it's not about you being off track. It's quite the opposite. You were born into your family line with a specific purpose, to carry the weight of these inherited chains and limitations and to break free from them. Your mission is to dismantle these old patterns and create a new liberated path. Breaking free from these generational chains demands a tremendous amount of energy at the outset. It's like starting a major project. Initially, it requires significant effort to overcome the old constraints and choose a new direction. However, once you've established this new momentum, the journey becomes smoother. This wave of positive change not only supports you, but also paves the way for future generations to benefit from the freedom, abundance, and self-love you're creating. When you feel like you're falling back into old patterns or struggles, it's often because you're still feeling the echoes of these heavy chains that you've already started to break. This feeling can be a reminder of the outdated societal norms that most people are still grappling with. Despite this, you are at the forefront of a significant transformation, truly a pioneer, charting a new course for yourself and those who will follow. When it comes to breaking free from limiting beliefs and outdated mindsets, it's important to recognize the powerful effect of the personal, internal work you are doing. Even when you're alone, focusing on your own healing and processing deeply personal issues, that internal shift creates ripples that affect the entire collective consciousness. Your personal efforts don't just benefit you. They send waves of positive change out into the world, influencing the collective timeline as well. This means that the private healing you undertake has a far-reaching impact, transforming not just your own path, but also contributing to a larger global shift. So don't underestimate the significance of your internal work. The healing and transformation you're experiencing on a personal level are making a profound difference. Your efforts are echoing out into the collective, creating change on a much broader scale than you might initially realize. This message is coming through strongly from your guides, emphasizing the importance and impact of the private, personal work you are doing. Additionally, Embrace the unconventional nature of your journey. You're receiving reassurance that as you move forward on this unique path, aligned with the core frequency of your soul, you will be supported. The card suggests a powerful exercise. If you knew you would be fully supported in everything you did, what would you pursue? As we continue to feel the energies of the recent 8 eighths portal, Use this as a journaling prompt to explore what you would focus on if you had absolute support. Consider where you would invest your time and energy and what you would create. Although the question might seem repetitive, it underscores the truth that you will indeed have the support you need. You are a soul that came into this world with a profound purpose, and you've likely had an intuitive sense of that purpose from a very young age. This deep sense of purpose is now coming to the forefront of your life, becoming increasingly prominent. Let's explore this more deeply. The recurring lion symbolism is significant here, representing qualities such as majesty, wisdom, royalty, pride, loyalty, leadership, and self-actualization. Lions are not only majestic and proud, but also deeply loyal to themselves, to their true nature, and to their group or pride. They embody self-actualization, meaning they fully realize and embrace their potential 
As you navigate your journey, you're undergoing a process of self-actualization that is leading you towards becoming a leader. This growth is propelling you into a role where you will embody these lion-like qualities. You're evolving into a position where you can lead with confidence, wisdom, and authenticity, fully expressing your true self and guiding others with the same loyalty and pride that define the lion. For some of you, this emerging sense of leadership might become more visible in your professional life or in a significant project you're involved in. You might suddenly find yourself promoted or offered a powerful leadership position that highlights your capabilities. This shift could thrust you into a role where your leadership skills and potential are recognized and valued. For others, your leadership might take on a more spiritual dimension. People around you might start to sense that you're a spiritual leader because you've done the deep inner work to connect with your most authentic self. You've worked through and removed layers of societal conditioning and false beliefs, allowing your true essence to shine brightly. This genuine authenticity is incredibly magnetic, attracting others who resonate with your frequency. As a result, people might come to you seeking support, guidance, or simply to be in your presence. Whether they are consciously aware of it or not, they are drawn to your energy because it has a profound positive influence. Being around you can help others align more closely with their own true path, making your presence a valuable and transformative experience for those who connect with you. So what additional insights can I share with the beautiful souls listening? The cards financial constraints and victory have appeared indicating a major shift is on the horizon. This shift relates to an area where you've previously felt limited and it's poised to bring about a significant transformation. This change may come about suddenly and unexpectedly, even though it's the result of the gradual inner work you've been doing. This deep ongoing process of returning to your core essence and soul frequency is now culminating in what may feel like a dramatic quantum leap. For some of you, this shift might directly impact your finances, how you view your work, or your sense of value and how you create value in the world. For others, it could involve overcoming a lack mentality that has been holding you back in various aspects of your life. This might include past struggles in your romantic life, especially if you felt blocked or stuck. The card Door to Romance reversed suggests that you might have felt as though romantic opportunities were closed off. But now a significant breakthrough is on the way. You might experience this breakthrough as a sudden and profound change, feeling like a new person or encountering a new romantic possibility that seems to appear out of the blue. The garden and the gate reversed indicates that intuitively, you may now feel ready to let down your defenses and open up more. This newfound openness allows you to be more vulnerable and authentic, leading to exciting changes and opportunities. As you embrace this shift, you'll likely find yourself moving into a new phase of your life with greater confidence and a renewed sense of possibility. This could very well involve love. Someone might enter or re-enter your life and you'll likely sense an intuitive green light telling you it's the right moment to open up to this person and share your inner world with them. This could lead to significant joy and satisfaction because it feels deeply aligned with your instincts. Alternatively, it might be another person, opportunity, or situation that invites you to be more open and vulnerable in a positive, empowering way. On a broader level, this shift could reflect a change within yourself. You might begin to feel so stable and confident in your spiritual identity that you are ready to lower your defenses and share yourself more openly. This isn't about being vulnerable out of weakness, but about being strong enough to embrace and express your true self. The message here is that you have the strength to be both vulnerable and authentic. The Patience card 
indicates that something important has been in the process of coming together for a long time. You've exercised patience, even if it made you or others perceive you as being stuck. This patience, which is essentially about having faith in the timing of your life, is now being rewarded in a significant way. Your trust and perseverance are paying off, leading to powerful and meaningful developments. The appearance of the cards, man holding a coin, and the thinking woman suggests a significant focus on intellectual stimulation and growth. This might involve someone who challenges and engages your mind, leading to deep, meaningful conversations. It could also reflect a personal journey where you're expanding your knowledge and wisdom in a particular area of your life. Interestingly, there's a strong sense that this growth is connected to your feminine aspect, your emotional, creative, or spiritual side. We all possess a balance of masculine and feminine energies, and it seems like you've been nurturing this feminine side, traditionally associated with creativity and emotions. Now, with the influence of the thinking woman, this nurturing process is evolving into a deeper understanding and wisdom. This could manifest in various ways, such as gaining more knowledge about your creativity, spirituality, or emotional world. The key is that your feminine side is maturing, transitioning from a more whimsical or mysterious aspect into something more solid and reliable. It's no longer just a fleeting or elusive quality, but is becoming a stable, consistent, and concrete part of your life. This growth is bringing a new level of maturity to your feminine energy, making it more grounded and dependable. I realize that the description may seem a bit general, but that's because this message can manifest in various ways for different people. For instance, if you're naturally creative, you might now be discovering specific methods to consistently access and harness your creative flow. This could involve finding new techniques or routines that help you get into the zone more effectively. Alternatively, this could involve acquiring detailed knowledge or skills in an area where you previously felt unsure or in the dark. It might mean studying and learning to create a solid understanding and vocabulary around something you've only felt or sensed before. You could also be focusing on establishing structure in your emotional or spiritual life. This might involve creating routines or practices that nurture your emotional well-being or support your spiritual growth. By integrating these practical elements, you are balancing and grounding your feminine side, represented by creativity and emotional sensitivity. The card, man holding a coin, suggests that this balancing act also connects with your masculine energy. For some, this means that by adding structure and practicality to your feminine qualities, you might attract material stability, financial abundance, or leadership opportunities. For others, it might simply result in feeling more internally stable and supported with a greater sense of daily calm while remaining emotionally and spiritually connected. In summary, this process is about finding equilibrium between your internal energies. If this internal balance doesn't resonate with you, it might also reflect in your interactions with someone else whether they are feminine or masculine, who plays a role in these aspects of your life. With the all tied up card appearing in the throat chakra position, it suggests that there might be some communication issues or a sense of being stuck in how things are being expressed. This could mean you're waiting for someone to reach out to you or someone might be feeling unable to communicate clearly with you. Whether this is in a work context in a friendship, or in a romantic relationship. To explore this further, in the extended reading on Patreon, we'll dive deeper into who this person is and why they might be feeling blocked or unable to communicate effectively with you. We'll also examine your own energy and see if there are any other people or influences energetically connected to you who might be impacting this situation. 
If you feel drawn to get more insight, you can join me for the extended reading on Patreon. The link to join is available in the pinned comment and description box below this video. Now, let's conclude this reading with a final card from the Rumi Oracle deck. The card we have is I Surge on the Uprising Wave of Love, which is particularly interesting because it's numbered five. This reminds me of a recent Instagram reel I saw about people with strong number five energy in their soul contracts. These individuals often feel different from those around them, experiencing heightened sensitivity and sometimes being told they're too sensitive. If this resonates with you, it might be worth looking into the significance of the number five in numerology, especially in the context of soul contracts. It could offer valuable insights. Here is the message from the Rumi guidebook for this card. I surge on the uprising wave of love. No gravity can stop me from rising. The moon pulls the tide of life towards her and my soul in oneness with all of life answers her call. A wave of love consumes me and upwards I fly, flying through water to greet her shining body. Led by my heart, my wits are addled and my mind becomes a blurry mess. And so I feel instead, feel the truth of her love and the divine reflection she shines back at me from her radiant heart. This message speaks to the transformative power of love and how it elevates and guides us despite any obstacles. It's about allowing love to lift you beyond limitations and connect you to a deeper, more profound truth. The guidebook also offers this beautiful message. The movements of the cosmos affect us all deeply, both in body and soul. Right now, you're navigating a significant cycle. Instead of fighting against the flow of life or resisting your personal journey, embrace it. The divine is guiding you, creating waves that will help you reach a place of fulfillment and higher understanding. This feels like a wonderful way to wrap up our reading. If my energy resonates with you, I invite you to subscribe to the channel and become part of our vibrant community of like-minded, conscious, and creative souls here on YouTube. If you appreciate this content and would like to support the channel, consider giving a super thanks. Your support makes a big difference and helps keep the channel going. And of course, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future updates. Thank you so much for being here.